Ladies and gentlemen, dear students, today I want to continue with scientific presentations in biology. So before starting with our interesting, interesting microbiology, I would like to talk a little bit on general um, vocabulary. And you remember last time we were starting with the situation that you are not satisfied with which um, you heard. I was just saying I would not take a person. I would not use this. But um, maybe you find, yes, I have to attack. Um, you can use senses like that. I find it difficult to agree to your argument. Or I find it difficult to accept your argument. Alternatively, you may just say, I'm afraid I can't or I cannot agree with you there. So, these are a few senses. Let us continue here. Um, you find uh, this is a bit more friendly. I take your point, but I see now what you mean, but I believe the whole issue needs to be looked at more carefully. Well, this is not friendly. The idea or the argument has some shortcomings or deficiencies or flaws. So this is really attacking a person. I would just not do this, but um, you can feel I have to. The idea has some shortcomings, the idea has some deficiencies or flaws. The argument has some shortcomings, deficiencies or flaws. So, um, you should learn this if you find, yes, I have to uh, use this, I need this. So, I would like to continue with microbiology and uh, a lot, a lot of unknown words are waiting for us and I think I'll read this both in English and in German. The first one is probably not so difficult but we will use this later on. Hamster means hamster. So, you feel already uh, what the text waiting for us. Dental, zahn, this is already a uh, black, or black, black. Carbohydrate, kohlenhydrat. Rot is uh, das Stäbchen, die Form des Bakteriums. Non-motile, unbeweglich. Prevalent, Verbreitet, Disease, die Erkrankung oder Krankheit. Housekeeping can just have different, uh, different meanings. In this case it's Haushalts. Ubiquity, Algerengrad. Bifurcate, gegabelt. To taper or to taper. Zuspitzen, sich füllen. To ferment heißt vergieren oder fermentieren in den Epithet Beiname. So, this might be the name of a bacterium. Let me read this once more. Hamster, dental or black, carbohydrate, rot and non motor. So, this is something that we learned. We know prevalent disease, housekeeping, ubiquity, bifurcate means familiar to us, to taper, to ferment, or epithet. Let us continue. Plug or pleg, we know this from our first string, means pest. You can just use for solche as well. Enteric, der Darm, discreet, 
einzeln. To exhibit means aufweisen. In that case here, acquisition, die Übernahme. Let's continue with the next one. To impose, Auferlegung. Tick, die Zecke. Feed means in this context, Grundstück or große Leistung. Ancestor, Vorfahr. Vorgänger. And we have to imply. Bedeuten, hinweisen auf. So you realize that microbiology is very difficult. A lot of words are waiting for us. And I think I will read this in English again and in German the translation. Rodent. Das Nagetier, a hamster, is a rodent, for instance. Septicemic, septicamish. Uh, you realize that I didn't, uh, didn't know what is septicamish. Um, I uh, go a little bit. Bakterien gelangen in die Blutbahn, means septicamish or septicemic. To intrigue you is faszinieren oder interessieren. Um, enigmatic, rätselhaft. And spine, major uh, different meanings. In that case is stachel, spine. So we are working with Midgut, der Mitteldarm. Hindgut, der Enddarm. Sättigung, Repletion, Bohrer, Bau oder Höhle, it's not really microbiological, but it's a rodent. To compel, erzwingen, persistent, anhaltend, or ständig, futile, vergeblich, and we're dealing with a rabbit, tollwütig. A rodent can just be rabbit. And we have to learn more words. They are coming here to reinforce bekräftigen. Susceptible, anfällig. Bacteremia. So I'm not a microbiologist. Bacteremia. Bakteremie. Zeitfläche zu sein von Bakterien im Blut. So, this remembers us a little bit. Morbond, sterbend, and threshold can just have different meanings. Here it is, schwer. So, here it comes very uh, complicated. Poventricular, gleich, digestive chamber in certain insects and worms. So, disseminate, ausbreiten oder verbreiten. Contingent, bedingt, abhängig von. It's an example of translation. Here it means bedingt, abhängig von. Gegenseitig, ist in English mutual. Hematogenes, hematogen. Morbidity, krankhaftigkeit. And we have to deal a little bit with shape, form. By the way, I can just say what our illustration. These are electron microgrowths of bacteria. So, and you see here they have different shapes, verschiedene Formen. They also have different sizes. Größe, the major self slime, schleim, soil, der Boden, spore, die Spore, and surface, die Oberfläche. What does it mean? Um, in Deutsch, Bakterien können sich am Boden anhaften. 
a lot of words explain this. To survive means überleben. Toxin, das Toxin. Unicellular, einzellig. And this is definitely microbiological virus, the virus or das virus. Um, Hefe means yeast. So, a lot of words that we need, and of course, we wanna use these words in a text, in a special text. It's going on bacteria and the biofilms of dental carriers. So, in German, Bakterien im Biofilm von uh, Zahncaries. So, this is definitely microbiological. And I think we are waiting what we will learn. Dental carriers is the most common chronic disease of childhood and in adult humans and presents a significant public health problem. Yes, it is. So far, approximately 260 species of all bacteria have been cultivated from humans. And it's just estimated that up to 500 species may live in carriers associated biofilms. Wow. Dental carriers is caused by the ability of bacterial strains to produce lactic acid. So I think we learned a lot, but we don't know all words. And it's coming here for Calberry the text. So you see only three senses but a lot of unknown words. Bacterium, bacteria means in German bacterium or bacterien. Biofilm, the biofilm. Dental, zahn and zusammenhang or dental. Carriers, carriers. So let's continue with chronic, it means chronisch, disease, die Krankheit, Schaltut, Kindheit. Caries means carriers, caries, carriers in English. Chronic, chronisch, chronic in English, chronisch in German. We have disease, Krankheit, and Schaltut, Kindheit, second time. So, we should learn this. You know that adult means adult, ausgreift, you think, on humans. It's coming here. Human, menschlich, um, they can be adult. Public, öffentlich, earth. Die Gesundheit, this a beautiful age, species, species or art, oral, oral, or mund in zusammenhang. And we learn lactic acid, milchsäure, for the first time, lactic acid, die milchsäure. So, before continuing with our very, very interesting text, I want to introduce some uh, microscopy and we learn even more words. So, I think we should start with the words. It's a repetition party, secrete or secretion, Ausscheidung and Ausscheidung, shape, deform. We learned already sides, the Größe. We can slime, the slime, soil, the Boden, and spore, the spore. And we should know this as well: surface, the Oberfläche, survive, überleben, toxin, the toxin. We know already unicellular, einzellig. And we know perfectly 
virus means virus and keys the Hefe. So let us jump to microscopy. It's very very interesting but we biologists don't have this. You have to go to the physics department and they have this over there. Atomic force microscopy. So what is that? So you know the result over there. It's just um, showing uh, the structure of a surface. Atomic force microscopy. You start with a sample. You see it over there. You start with the diamond laser. It's just um, going to a so-called cantilever. With a beautiful tip over there. And this is detected, uh, detected by a photo diet over there. So what is this doing? Um, it's for instance detecting a membrane over there and it's showing here the proteins in the membrane. You can see this over there um, enlarged the membrane and looking like it is um, it's an ATP. So um, this beautiful atomic force microscopy cannot can us even show our proteins and membranes. So ATP means six subunits. Hopefully you see it over there. It's um, into it in the membrane. So it's marvelous when doing that. So, knowing that, I uh, suggest we continue with our vocabulary. Probably this is new. Pathobiological means pathobiologisch. Lesion, lesion or verletzung in German. Primary dentition is das Milchgebiss. And we have permanent dentition, das bleibende Gebiss. Epidemiologic means epidemiologisch. Evidence, Hinweis oder Beweis. Infectious is infectious oder ansteckend. So you need of course a pathogen, pathogen or a Krankheitsreiger to be infectious. Cultivation means Kultivierung. Agarplatte, Agarplate, Microscopic, Mikroskopisch, and we have Observation, die Beobachtung oder Betrachtung. So, and of course we have exercises. Exercise, we have you a scientific article, but um, it's a bit aside. Um, probably I read this in German. Stellen Sie sich vor, dass Sie als Gutachter für den von Ihnen gelesenen Artikel tätig sind. Ah ja. Formulieren Sie fünf Kritikpunkte bzw. Vorschläge. Für weiterführende Experimente auf Englisch. Wow. So, we have to do that, of course. And before just starting to act as a real, we need to know the text. I think I read the song. More recently, however, PCR-based uh, techniques such as DNA sequencing assays and phylogenetic analysis have been used to identify dental bacterial strains and to distinguish even closely related species. Ah, yeah. That a novel microorganism, Metascatovia criciti, was, for example, isolated from the dental plaque of golden hemses, the trifet with a carbo. No, with a high carbohydrate diet. 
The bacterium was identified by an analysis of its 16S RNA and teacher protein 60, HSP16, and the standing in brackets in clamor. Of course, before thinking on our exercise, we have to understand the text and a few words are waiting for us. DNA sequencing means DNA sequencing, assay, assay or analyzer, for genetic, phylogenetic, analysis, analysis, Analyse oder Analysen. I read something on strain, Stamm. We need to know to distinguish, differenzieren, unterscheiden. And more words are waiting for us. Never, novel, means neu. Microorganism, Mikroorganismus. Golden Hamster, Gold Hamster. Carbohydrate means Hundred. Diet is the cost, Nahrung oder Ernährung. And the end last heat shock, Hitze shock or heat shock proteins. Hitze shock protein. So, jumping back, back to our text, we were also asked to give uh, suggestions um, how the experiments may be continued or criticized in English. So what can we say on that? So we could say for instance you use PCR based techniques. Did you use more techniques? Are there alternatives for DNA sequencing? Are the alternatives for phylogenetic analysis? You find uh, this organism, Metascatovia, in the dental plaque of golden hamsters. Did you find this in other dental plaques as well? The golden hamster were fed with a high carbohydrate diet. Is Metacosovia uh, living in other diets as well? The bacterium was identified by Hichoparins. Did you find the bacterium by analyzing other proteins as well? So I think uh, we are asking a lot of questions. And may just continue with our beautiful text once more. So it's coming here. Mediscotovia, abbreviated M point, Chrysidae, is a rod shaped gram positive vacuum with tapered ends. It can live under both aerobic and anaerobic conditions. And the bacterium ferments glucose, fructose, and lactose, but lacks catalase activity. In addition to the identification and characterization of the dent black bacteria, it is of enormous importance to develop strategies for preventing the coastal uh, dental disease of carriers. Yes, it is. So, you see that blue words, unknown words are highlighted. Um, it's not highlighted, but I think we should read uh, glucose, fructose and lactose. It's written the same way in English and in German, but it is totally differently pronounced. I think we should keep this in mind. But of course, a lot of words are waiting for us in microbiological context. Condition means bedingung. To ferment is fermentieren. To lack, fehlen oder nicht haben. 
Naked Lace, die Katalase, Activity, Activity, and to prevent means verhindern, vermeiden. How does the spectrum look, looks like? It looks like rotate, Stäbchen for me. It is gram positive, gram positive, to taper, spitz zulaufend oder verjüngen. Aerobic means abhängig vom Sauerstoff. And anaerobic means unabhängig vom Sauerstoff. Bereiten Sie eine englische Präsentation des Artikels mit ca. 15 Sätzen vor. Wählen Sie 15 Schlüsselworte aus, die repräsentativ sind. Stellen Sie diese Schlüsselworte Ihrem Autorium zur Verfügung. Lesen Sie den Originalartikel gründlich dreimal durch. Legen Sie ihn dann zur Seite. Bereiten Sie nun die Präsentation vor, um noch einmal den Originaltext anzusehen. Üben Sie die Wiedergabe in Englisch. So, the next exercise we have to do, and we have to read only a little bit of text. A promising approach to combat carriers infections is probiotic therapy. The therapeutic as G involves eliminating pathogenic carriers bacteria and replacing them with harmless bacterial strains that should cause dental lesions. So this would be of course very nice. So let us word, uh, read the unknown words. Probiotics means probiotica. Therapy or therapeutic means therapy und therapeutisch. To eliminate, eliminieren, entfernen. To replace, ersetzen. Harmlos, ungefährlich, unschädlich. And before uh, continuing with our exercise, I like to show that because I think it's beautiful. This is a golden hamster um, bee over there. The hamster is standing in the field and showing grass over there. And we found that the dental plaque of the golden hamster, the bacteria, um, you see here electron micrograph of dental bacteria. The bacteria were all isolated from the mouth um, of the golden hamster. Um, it's shown with an electron micrograph of there, and among this more than 500 species, there is standing. Um, the um, crisity over there. So of course um, we need more unknown words but before just starting with that I would just remember us a little bit on our exercise. Um, we were asked to uh, find 15 keywords out of the text so we probably don't find 15. Um, carries infections, probiotics, therapy, it's coming here, eliminate, replace, bacterial strain, dental lesion. I would use this. For that, I think I will stop at that point. And I'm looking forward to our next lecture. With that, I would like to say tschüss and see you.